it's a little awkward because we've reached that point in the semester where I have things to say, but I don't have very many things to say. And so I ramble. Um, we're going to take care of some stuff today. And hopefully it will all be relevant for most of us. This is our last synchronous class, which feels so, I don't know, it just feels so weird to say that because um, you know, it feels like we were just starting the class and it feels like, um, feels like we just started, we just start, got going. Once we hit the research essay, it has blown by and um, I think the last day of any synchronous classes is Wednesday. And then there's, um, might be Thursday. I think it's Thursday because the last day of finals is December 17. So Thursday, if you have a Thursday class and there is class, do not, not go to it because I said Wednesday was last. But this is our last one. Um, and the reason for that is what you're doing is writing. And my best help to you is giving you feedback on your writing, like personal feedback. And so I um, am canceling class and you can come see me on Wednesday between 11 and two to talk about your paper or to say goodbye. And I hope some of you will just drop in. Um, you can talk about your research paper because I know uh, about a third of those have come in, but that means the rest of them are coming in and I'm happy to talk with you about your research paper or the final essay. I'm happy to talk about that. Yeah, there we go. Um, Rebecca, you have an appointment. I'm assuming you're here. You have an appointment and I will honor that appointment. Um, but otherwise, if there are not appointments, you can just drop in. It'll, I'll be there. Um, sometimes I walk away if I don't have an appointment, but this time I wanted to uh, just be available to, for quick questions, a review of essay, whatever it is. So 11 to two, I am available. This is our agenda for today. I wanna touch on the essay that is due. I wanna talk about the book. And then I've got some discussion questions. So uh, let's talk about the essay first, because if we don't do that first, we'll probably run out of time. You've read this essay prompt, I am assuming. What questions do you have for me? You can put them in the chat or you can just ask the questions aloud. You can. Okay, the biggest thing that I wanna say is that with RWS 200, there is always a rhetorical analysis essay. We have some requirements, um, assignment types that we always do in our classes in our 200 level classes. And so um, this rhetorical analysis essay is normally the first essay, but my goal was to sort of turn the class inside out for you to do some analysis, some rhetorical analysis of what you're reading, and then apply what you're learning to your own essays. And I wanted you to do a lot of that work over the course of the semester. And then as you had developed those skills and deeper understanding, then I wanted you to write the essay instead of doing it right at the beginning. And so you've experimented, particularly on this last essay, with different organizational patterns, with cause and effect, with compare and contrast, with um, how it feels to write to a different sort of audience. 
Um, so we've talked a lot about those things. Um, any, uh, let me, as I've created context for this discussion, um, feel free to ans ask any questions. The prompt is available, you can print it out, and I do recommend that you use the prompt, but I also wanted to show you that there is a rubric that's been posted. And you'll see that the paper itself is worth 100 points, which means that when, when I'm talking about percent, um, I'm also talking about points. And uh, that's pretty obvious. Uh, every one of these applies to, um, every one of these categories is connected to the prompt because I read the prompt as I develop the rubric. And I'm valuing the same things I've always valued, organizational structure, cohesion, details, guiding audience, all of these things that I've been talking about um, from the beginning to the end, they're there. So um, your presentation, your MLA formatting is worth 5%, five points. Your introduction is worth 10 points. Your organization is worth 20 points. Um, your paragraph about audience is worth 15 points. And then you have 20 points about, um, 20 points about your analysis of somebody else's strategies and 20 points analyzing your own strategies. Conclusion, style and mechanics is worth 5%, which means if I can, you, know, you, which means you don't have to worry about grammar. Um, that's what that means. If, if I can't understand it, that would be a problem that you would lose some points, but otherwise you're good, you're good. Um, questions about the essay. I wanna apologize for the confusion over when it was due. I, I saw shocked faces uh, last week when I said it was due the ninth uh, and I never meant it to be due the ninth. The ninth is the last day that Southwestern uh, can turn in their final essay because um, they took fewer days off than we did. And so in my head, I had the ninth and I typed it even though I was thinking our last day. And so your paper is due the 16th, which gives you a lot of time to write it. And it gives you time to get feedback from Melissa. It gives you time to get feedback from the tutors at the Writing Center. Rhetorical analysis is something that all the tutors are very, very good at giving credit on. And so if you've never been to the Writing Center or never met with Alyssa, now is a good time to get that kind of feedback. And of course, I'm happy to give you feedback on it in my office hours on Wednesday. Any other questions related to that essay? Now, I started the semester with the idea of project-based learning because I wanted to give as many of you, I wanted to give the class a sense of control. Um, and I did a lot of things that I've never done before. You know, like we, together, we developed some things and, and in the process, I've never done this before. And so a lot of the times I feel like I've been making things up on my own. And so I've sought a lot of guidance from my department chair, from the library, and I have the plan, which is why you all got those permission forms. Don't forget to sign them, because um, otherwise I can't include your essay. And if you don't want me to include your essay, please let me know and you'll still get points because I don't want to leave you out in the points. Um, it's a required assignment to say, to sign it and say, yes, I did, or to say, please don't bother me 
or, or I don't, you know, like I don't feel comfortable having my essay in, um, in a book that other people can read. And I think that there are some reasons that students might wanna do that, privacy reasons, um, insecurity about their own writing. Um, there are lots of reasons. But what I do know is that you all said important things. And I think that it's important to say the things um, that you wrote. Sometimes we feel like, you know, like our life isn't significant or we haven't had enough experience or we're too young or we're too old. What I really want to affirm to you is you have important things to say. And every essay had those things. And so I hope you will share your work, but I understand if you choose not to. I'm excited to get the books put together. Um, if you have an original cover, an original image that's your artwork or a photograph and you want to post it for us to choose um, for the cover, um, you can get extra credit. Um, you can submit advice to students. A few of you did that already and email me directly if you want extra credit for formatting or actually creating the cover. I, my graphic design skills are negligible. Anything that looks clever, I created with the use of automatic design from PowerPoint or Google or Canva. And that is how I do anything that um, looks remotely creative. But some of you have those skills. And so if you want to get extra credit for formatting, which is time consuming, I'm almost done formatting the one for my RWS 220 class, and then I'm turning to yours. Um, but if you want help with that, if you want to do something that will earn you a few extra points, contact me, email me. Questions about that? All right. Uh, wait. Yes. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to ask, so um, will we get extra credit points if say multiple people decide to submit like um, covers uh, and then like yours just doesn't get picked, would you still get like extra credit points? Yes. I'm looking for images because sometimes people who create artwork um, or create design photos, um, they're not necessarily the people that wanna do um, the graphic design of a cover. And so uh, it, later on this afternoon, I've got, a, I've got several meetings after our class and I'm in the writing center but toward the end of the day, I'll create a new discussion board and original photos, original artwork. Um, I'll create a discussion board and you can leaf through. And um, even if you didn't post one, you can say what you like. I wish we could just decide everything together, uh, but in reality, we're down to the end and I wanna have this all set up uh, before we go on break so that I can send you links so you can share them with people who matter to you. And um, I had so many wonderful plans for how this would go down and the semester, gosh, it was, um, it was a great semester from many standpoints and it was challenging. Um, I, most of the things that I'm doing in this class and technology things I'm doing in a Zoom session, I have never done before. So it's been a really steep learning curve for me. And by the way, I really appreciate your patience with my tech skills that hopefully I think they've improved over the semester. I'm, I'm pretty sure they have. So um, did that answer your question, Eric? Yes, thank you. Sure. I. I I, I want to talk about grading because this 
has been an incredibly challenging semester for me. Um, there are days when I've worked 12 hours in a day. There are weeks when I haven't taken any, any days off um, because, I, because I care so much about teaching and I care about students. And the last couple of weeks, you know, like I feel like I all of a sudden, you know, like as we're winding down, I feel like I'm getting my life back. But I realize my experience, although different than yours, um, we, are, we are sharing this experience of online learning, of figuring it out, of being tired of being on Zoom all the time or attached to our laptops. And, and I have great empathy for that. Um, empathy because I'm feeling it too. It's not just, I feel sad for you. I feel sad for all of us. And um, at the beginning of the semester, I designed this course to give you lots and lots of points because I didn't want this to sabotage, this learning process of being online all the time to sabotage your grades. I prioritized learning and I gave you multiple opportunities to share what you were learning and how you were learning it through reading journals, um, through discussion boards, through peer review, um, through the, your reflection direction journals. And I, and most of those things, you got most of the points, which really, you know, like an essay is an essay, um, but essays don't necessarily show all the things that you're learning the discussion boards, the reflections, the feedback you gave to each other, all of those things showed me what you're learning. And I think sometimes those are more effective um, in, in the learning process than essays, which tend to freak each other, freak us all out, including me. And so your grade is well padded with participation points because I want you to do well. In my classes, generally speaking, um, more people receive Bs than As or Cs. And I imagine that will still be true, except for I think I'll have more As and fewer Cs. Because if you just did the work, um, everything was woven in uh, for your benefit. Um, and honestly, I can see how much you've all learned over the course of the semester. I see the differences in your, um, I see the differences in your writing. Um, like I said, this has been a, a tough, tough semester. We started with a pandemic. Um, for those of you in the dorms, you experienced many, many lockdowns. Uh, some of you got sick and you battled COVID and, um, or you had family members that got sick or you had family emergencies. Um, it's been an emotional semester. And uh, I was joking with some friends, um, we have a group text and which consists of sharing articles and talking trash about people who don't agree with the four of us believe about the world and stuff. And we laugh a lot. We're not terrible people. And we only put these things in our group chat. So um, we started talking about the end of the year. And I said that, um, oh, the earthquakes. That's what we were talking about. Apparently 2020, Anita said, it has a few tricks up her sleeve still. And I said, eh, 2020 is gonna be uh, like the president. It's never gonna concede and it's going to stick around into the next year. And which I thought was rather clever, maybe not, but I thought it was. And um, I don't know that spring 2021 is gonna be a lot different than fall 2020. And that's tough. I think we're tired of this, um, but it will end. We will be back on campus and um, I am holding out hope that it's gonna be next fall. And I hope that some of you 
um, will drop into the writing center where I work almost every day. And you'll know me because I will be the very, very short blonde who is walking around like she owns the place, only she doesn't. I just work there. Um, but I am short. I am like, you can't tell because we're on Zoom, but I am not even five feet tall. And so I am a miniature blonde who pretends like she's much younger than she is. This semester I wanted, one of my primary goals was to give you all an opportunity to raise your voice and just say something that matters. And you did that. Um, I think of when I talk about things that matter, I had some of you who wrote about family illnesses, um, the loss of family members, um, Jenny's paper made me cry. It moved me so much. Um, many papers moved me. You all said something that matters. And I've read a few of the research papers as students have dropped into my office. And you're still saying things that matter. And from that vantage point, I want to say you've done an extraordinary job and you should be incredibly proud of yourself. Um, yeah, Van, your paper is one that made me cry too. Um, so many, so many of your papers moved me. And I'm just, if I, I yeah. Um, what I'd like to do, and I do this every semester, I told you, you know, like 2020 is gonna stick around into the 2021 spring semester, which means that I'm gonna have a new batch of students. Um, and I've changed so many things this semester that, I wanna make sure that um, I'm considering what worked well from a student standpoint and what didn't work well from a student standpoint. And the only way I can do that is to get your feedback. So I'm gonna put you in breakout rooms one last time. And I want you to, um, I want you to think about what are some things that went well in this classroom? Um, what are, you know, like how effective were my attempts to get you to know each other and to work in groups? Um, what are some things that I could have done better? So just like when I read your papers, I go, here's what you did well, here's what you could do better. Um, I want you to talk about that with each other and then come back in here and we'll share some things and I'll take notes on a Google slide deck, okay? Hopefully you'll be um, in some groups with people you know. So probably about six minutes, maybe seven, and then we'll come back and, and share. Asia, Grace, you should have gotten a 